I just have to actually do it now. Y you know, there's there's a part Jun Lei's been looking for to fix up the air cyclers. They only carried them on big colony ships, like the Hope. Pavari, making every little thing perfect won't change Jun Lei's feelings. I know. For a while, it, it felt like everything I did was a little bit of help. And it meant I didn't have to ask her to be mine. Not yet. Not for real. But next time we dock with Groundbreaker, I'm doing it. I'll send June a message and ask her over. Oh, this is real scary, Captain. I'm grateful for all you've done. Chin up, lass. You'll do well. I oughta. Kept me alive this long. I mean, you treated nice. Makes me happy to see, because I feel the same way about my wrench. Look, it's a tool that does a job. Feelings got nothing to do with it. What's gone into Bachmeyer? Nobody's posted at the HH. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of The Outer Worlds. We are running to an insurance office to make Ellie a uh, primary beneficiary, whatever that means. G secure mailbox system. Saw a letter in this mailbox is addressed to the Greater Helsey Insurance Group's satellite office in Fallbrook on the planet Monarch. I guess we're going to Fallbrook. Yeah, I guess you're right. Off to Fallbrook. Down there, the new ship. But first, we're gonna go back to the groundbreaker. See how well Parvati's date goes. I wager it's gonna go, Will. I have faith. Ada, prepare for left off. We're going back to the grain breaker. I just realized all these side quests. If this was real life, uh, Clark, is that his name? Clark would be like, where the hell's my package? It's been two weeks since I ordered it. Meanwhile, I'm doing everything I can to prepare Pavati for her special date with uh, Jun Lei. <laughs> <coughs> If you stopped in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Uh, sure. Why not? We got a lot in common, you and me. It's operating just a teensy bit outside of the manufacturer's expected parameters, huh? Oh, Captain! <laughs> Uh, just doing some routine maintenance on our automatic friend. Don't mind me. I swear, next time we put in the groundbreaker, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask her over. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm having trouble focusing on my work. You'll do great. Every Sam unit comes lean, mean, and ready to clean. Attaboy, Sam. <laughs> Thank you, customer. Sam, merciless on germs. <laughs> oh my god. Back to work, Sam. <laughs> You're a good boy. 
Billy Sam. There we are. Let's go to the Grand Breaker. The Grand Breaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Bye, party. Are you ready, Pavati? All right. She's on her way. How do I look? You look terrific. Oh, my hands have finally stopped shaking. All right, all right. Deep breath. Here I go. That is a huge spacecraft. Bloody hell. I want it. <laughs> Take over the Grand Breaker. <laughs> Pavati! Anyhow, so I told him, Dad, I'm a big girl now. I ain't need your help. I can do it on my lonesome. What did he say to that? Have at it then. And he handed me his favorite wrench, the one he used for the canner. He's probably half as tall as I was. He didn't scold you for talking back to him? Nah, he was never like that. I always thought it was funny when I'd get indignant about something. Then he'd watch me do whatever it was, make sure I didn't get hurt, but he'd never interfere. I learned a lot that way. I wish I could have met him. Anyone who helped shape you must have been a special person. Uh, do I really want to interrupt the date? Head to the kitchen, see how the date is going. Oh, I should leave the ship. Yeah, let's do that. I'll take Ellie and Felix with me. You're off the hook. Felix, you're with me. <coughs> it's so nice to see them bonding so well. Now return to the unreliable now. Woohoo! Pavati! How'd it go? Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. Cool. Hey, Pavati. Okay, Captain, she's gone. Did it go well? I'm near about vibrating, I'm so excited. So she got here, and the first thing she said was, Oh, you smell nice, like mock apples. And I was like, yeah, new soap. <laughs> and then she just sort of touched my arm real gentle like and called the cut of my outfit elegant I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard then I led her into the kitchen I think she about cried when she saw the spread
<laughs> so you laid out the meal, brought June in, and started the music? She stood stock still and just said, Oh, real soft. Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. And then she blinked and said, Is that dustback casserole? I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us, so it was double authentic. Made by a real live... Monar monarchian? Monarchist? Monarch first. Monarchy! <laughs> Made by Monarchy. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Hope you don't mind, Monarchy, but you just made Parvati's evening. Well, we talked a bunch over dinner about the things we learned just through messages, stuff we repaired, how I taught her to salvage, and she taught me to build. When I brung out the sweetheart cakes, June, she got a little teary, said she had a thing she needed to say. But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. And? I told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted. Strong. Smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. She, she talked about the things she admired about me, like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. What happened next? Don't leave me in suspense now. Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! Woohoo! Congratulations! That's very sweet. It's all on your account, you know. Imagine if you'd never taken me out of Edgewater. I'd have never met Junlei at all. I don't know nothing about the Vicar's capital P plan, but you've sure changed my life. So, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna head to my cabin and happy scream into my pillow for like an hour. Level up! Drink plenty of tea, Parvati. You know, for when your throat gets scratched for happy screaming too much. <laughs> oh, I got a picture of June Lay in Parvati! Where is it? Is it in my captain's quarters? It better be. I says, Fine. I'll pay you back for all of it. With interest. Nice one. Graham's patch. Torn from Graham's jacket, Zora sent this to you with a note. I thought a keepsake might dull the pain, but it hasn't. Graham may have been a psychopath, but he still built the foundation for the movement I'm trying to keep alive. Maybe there was another way. I don't know. I've got to let it go. Abandon all hope for a better past, he used to say. Take it with my thanks. You ever want a beer? Stop by Stella Bay. He must have had him quaking on their heels. Where's the picture? Where's the picture of, uh... Yeah, where is it? Alright, let me get my skills real quick. Um... Yeah, sure, why not? Where the bloody hell is it, Codex? Companions! This companion ledger shows you everything you need to know about your companions. You can see the skill status effects gear. No, I don't want that. Companions. You've gained a companion. No, don't need that. Hell is in the codex. Logs. Oh my god, that is a lot of logs. Um, where is photo of Pavati's father? Gotta be here somewhere. Huh. I don't have it. Bagger! Where's that picture? I want to see it! 
How are you two doing? Pavati, I want to see the picture. This isn't Pavati's place, is it? It is. Pavati! Bugger. Alright, let's continue forward with uh, the low crusade. Speak to Minister Clark. I'll do that later. Wait, what was this one? Find and kill Eva Chapman. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot about that one. Whatever. We'll focus on Ellie first. I still wish I knew where that bloody picture went. But we were successful, so that's all that matters. Let's go to Stella Bay. Why not? We're now in orbit above Stella Bay, Captain. Sweet! Ellie, Felix, you're coming with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Auntie Cleo's diet toothpaste. Insurance office. Time to get some food. <laughs> I think we gotta go around the yacht club. So you're uh, you're really running around with us now, huh? Sure am. I'm a part of the crew now. Got my own bunk and everything. You know, Felix, now that you're a real pirate, I should induct you into the Pirate's Code of Silence. Ooh, the Code of Silence. What's that? It means you agree not to talk for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, Ellie. Eight hundred meters to the insurance office. Oh, Reminds me of the sea bloody hell! On one of my first ships. We gotta go exploring. I wanna see some shadows. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> goons. <laughs> I think it's going to take me the rest of the episode just to run all the way over there. Well, on that note, thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. We finally got Parvati a girlfriend. Hooray! And, uh, I hope you watch the next episode where we hack into a uh, computer terminal and commit fraud.
Well done. Choose everyone.